Tonight on I Like to Watch, we talk about the RuPaul's Drag Race COVID documentary. Why do all these queens have discolored lips? And also, we're gonna talk about the Paramount Plus transition. All right, hey everybody, so this is I Like to Watch, and this is a special edition episode because there's no real episode of RuPaul's Drag Race this week. So what we have to work with is the COVID-19 behind the scenes documentary. Before this episode happened tonight, the biggest issue that's been on everybody's mind is Paramount Plus and the fact that they're moving All Star 6 to that platform. Why can't All Star 6 be on VH1 like WTF? Why in the world would World of Wonder air All Star 6 on Paramount Plus? That's a great way to lose viewers. I'm not paying for another streaming service just to watch. I feel so bad for the girls on RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 6 who are getting cheated out of a season that we can actually watch. Why are they deserting VH1 and the loyal following? At least put it on World of Wonder that we already pay for. But going into tonight, we are about to watch this documentary, and so the fans were discussing their views, thoughts, and opinions on this documentary before the episode premiered. Is Drag Race really a documentary tonight? I really just want to see beauty, talent, and glitter. Coming up on RuPaul's Drag Race, filler episode! Are you kidding me, RuPaul? This season is already so long, and now you're throwing a random COVID special in the middle of the season? I should be watching Snatch Game right now. I watch Drag Race to very specifically escape from the panty, not to be reminded of its omnipresent oppression. Guess I'll do more angry tweets about the filibuster tonight instead. People were also expressing their frustration that they want to see some carnage here. They want to see some bitches going home. Go back to Party City where you belong. So no one is going home this week too? This season of Drag Race is literally never going to end. I was really wondering what people were going to take away from tonight's episode, but everybody got distracted because for some reason these queens all had discolored lips. Why is everyone's lips gold slash yellow? Why do all the queens' lips look brown? What is the lighting for the interviews in this Drag Race COVID special, and why is it making all the queens look like they're wearing orange lipstick? What color is on some of these queens' lips? Is it beige or brown? Am I crazy? Why are their lips orange? Is that just me? No, it is not just you, trust. Why do all the queens have butterscotch colored lips? Come on, lighting. Folks were also going online to discuss their personal thoughts of not having the pit crew this season. I didn't even realize there hasn't been a pit crew this season. Wait, I could have sworn there were pit crew members on this season. Nobody missed pit crew, actually. And I, oh. I usually also have a moment to discuss the fashions on the runway, of course, but so you know that this week there was not one, but I do have one look that I want to just give a shout out to, which is the Fierce and Fabulous Got Mick COVID coverage look. She had the beautiful sunglasses going on. She had full facial coverage. There was no question that Got Mick was going to be safe going to that store. And the last thing I got for you tonight is the ultimate ultimate shade when they threw in the clip of RuPaul saying, has the 90s changed their carpet yet? The ultimate shade of it all. Oh my God. So the gay 90s is a very famous gay bar in Minneapolis. Like it's usually a hot mess. You're gonna find ratchet people there fighting. It's just a disaster most times. Have they changed the carpet at the gay 90s? Ah, <laughs> I'm dead. Did they change the carpet at the gay 90s? <laughs> we love a Minnesota reference that shows concern for interiors. Ooh, I love the place, but they deserved it. <laughs> I feel very attacked! Well, anyways, that is my episode for tonight. It seems like this was a quick one, but you know what? It's a different night. It's a special episode. And so I'll see you guys next week.